So you're 22 years old. You have a lot of ideas. So many that you can't seem to choose one. The things that you want all seem to be actively running from you. And just as things start to make sense, everything else gets flipped upside down. <laughs> Wow, that actually sounds like a terrible time. Good news for you. The best part of a terrible time is someone to spend it with. And that's where I come in. Hi. I'm 22 and confused. <laughs> Last night I was watching the video that I made last year when I turned 21. It was like a documentation of just how I felt about things at that time. I was like, wow, a lot has changed since that video and it's only been a year, obviously. And I've talked about this a few times before, but I think about it constantly, about the connection between being in your puberty years, preteen, like 11 to 15, and that literally feels like 20 to 25, at least so far, feels like an exact reiteration of that exact period. Like I feel like I'm going through adult puberty and it's so strange and weird from 11 to 12 to 13 to 14 and so on you change so much every year and then from about 16 to 19 I felt relatively static and stable it just felt good to feel consistently the same person and not be going through evolution after evolution after evolution like that takes a lot out of you and you're always confused about who you are because you're not who you were yesterday and today you're probably not gonna be the same as you are tomorrow and that is just so Ah, from 20 till now, I can see the same thing happening again. I feel so drastically different from the past three years worth of versions of myself. And I'm like, oh my god, not again. Like, not again. I just want to be one person. But I just have to, like, I don't know, embrace embrace the era of change, you know? And it's scary. Scary slash exciting. The fact that it's going to happen again. We're just in a confusing time, all of us, truly. We have big dreams, big goals, big plans. We have a lot of things cooking up here. I don't think any of us is probably exactly where we wanna be. So we're chugging. We're literally chugging. Every day is like a recommitment to who you want to be. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, I think we feel so alone in this process, especially if you're transitioning from graduating college, being taken out of a community that you've been a part of for the last four years, especially during a time where you felt relatively stable in your identity and your being. You graduate and then you're just like thrust into probably a whole new community. Again, you have to regrow your roots, reestablish your goals, reestablish new friendships, take everything that you learned from the last four years and apply it into something or maybe not at all. It can feel very isolating I think especially at the beginning stage where I mean for me I'm just at the start. Like I'm at the little tip of the iceberg. That's the hardest time of a transition is the beginning. That's also coincidentally probably the space where you don't have a lot of connections and people to rely on. Yet. and that can be hard and scary and if I don't hear other people talking about feeling the same thing I start to think I'm going crazy like I'm the only one who's struggling and having a hard time handling this so I just want to say nothing's going wrong we're all freaking out we're all so confused and lost within our own self we're all just in the midst of a big transition probably none of us expected to feel this way I thought by the time you're in your 20s you're good you're so good puberty is puberty and that's been done maybe I missed like a huge brochure or like a huge chapter because I don't remember this part. I don't remember them being like, oh yeah, and once you survive puberty, it's gonna happen again. But this time, no one's gonna talk about it. And you might be alone. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? That's crazy. But we'll be fine. We'll be okay. We will be okay. I love you. You're doing fine. You'll figure it out. You'll look back and be like, oh my God, I was freaking out for nothing. What a time. morning it's operation fill my whole day up with things to do so that i don't go crazy oh back on my cold brew wave i like this one because it's a little bit sweet for the first time i'm trying oat milk big news i have a job interview tomorrow hopefully i get it and then that should start kicking things into motion. I need to make friends. Um, so hopefully my job will connect me to some friends. Okay. It smells like oats. I got this because it only has very limited ingredients. I've just heard good things about it on TikTok as well. I do not think that's enough. Okay, let me sip it like this first. Interesting combo. I like a thicker oat milk. I'm gonna try a hack though. I'm gonna try and froth it. Where is my frother? Oh, where is the frother? Um, 
Yeah, not really working. <clears throat> it's good. <laughs> Whatever. Um, is that right? Good thing I actually look like someone who's just. Oh my! No, we're gonna stay far away. Hopefully, the sun will come and do me a favor. Cause what, honey? Honey, no. I swear, my acne jumps from one side of the face to the other. Literally, less than two days ago, this whole side of my face was totally clear. And this side, as you can see right here, was like freaking out. Now that this side's going down, what is that? What is that? I am on so much acne medication, I do not want to start Accutane. My dermatologist says that it's hormonal. So if I start Accutane, it will go away. But as soon as I get off of it, after that long, treacherous, miserable process, it will come right back. <laughs> Last summer, I was just so disciplined. I had a routine, I was in my zone. It definitely took some effort to get there, but once I got into the gear, like nothing could stop me. I was going to the gym, meditating every day, being creative every day. So we have a lot to build off of. I'm really glad that I set that foundation for myself last summer because now it's easier for me to come in and, you know, restart. I am laying in bed currently. My room is a mess. I have not unpacked from moving and then three weeks vacations worth of unpacking to do. So yes, a lot of rearranging is left to be done there are T minus three days until my 22nd birthday. I'm kind of starting completely over, one could say. Well, one could definitely say that's exactly what I'm doing. Everything that's in my brain is just ideas. Nothing is quite in motion yet. It feels really busy and loud up here. And I feel very contrastingly different every day, which also takes a lot of energy in a strange way. But I'm also excited. The ideas that are buzzing, even though that they're loud, they're good. They're moving in a positive direction. Day by day. Brick by brick. I don't know what I want to do for my birthday yet. I guess to be determined. It's 9 a.m. I got ready because I kind of drove myself uh, a little loopy yesterday. Today, I can't do that. Tomorrow's literally my birthday. I don't want to be sad on my birthday. The pity party ends today. I have to get out of the house. So I'm gonna have a little day. Oh, I got this Dior lip combo at the airport. Duty free, <laughs> no duties. I would buy it 50 million times just for the packaging. Like this is the cutest thing ever. Like, just having this in my purse, it's like an accessory. Even though it's so pink, it's like so sheer, but it gives you the prettiest tint. Let's see. Like see how it's so subtle, but it kind of just like deepened and accentuated my own lip color. It's so soft, it's not too sticky. Okay, let's try the lip plumper. I have been off my lip plumper game, but I know the feeling of a good lip plumper. Oh, this is this one. Oh my, they kill it with the packaging. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, let's see what's going on plumper. I'm waiting for the stinging and burning, but it's actually feeling a little bit cooling how burt's bees is like cooling that's what this one's feeling like i don't know if it's really doing any plumping but it's a cute combo i'm gonna put them back in the box whenever i buy makeup i love to keep the packaging for a little while because it just makes me feel like i have something new every day i'm gonna stop at wawa get a matcha and something for breakfast and then i'm gonna go to the grocery store in mine but then i didn't have shoes so i just went for shoes and then shoes turned into they were having a huge sale so okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay next order of business is i need to find a brunch place for my birthday brunch because i'm feeling a birthday brunch this year not a birthday dinner okay they have a beautiful outdoor patio and their menu is always rotating and tapas style when I my birthday came and went it was great I got a massage in the morning I did brunch I got crumble cookies sorry for the butt and then I went to the movies one of those movies where you like eat dinner in the movie and I saw inside out too so it was a great day did I cry a little by myself 
Yes, but that's just the nature of birthdays. It's just such a day of emotional release, shedding, rebirthing, like it's just a whole thing. Anyways, good news. I got the job, I'm employed, I'm so excited. I start next week. The first few days of being new at a job is so like, once I get over that little hump, it'll be fine. That's just gonna be like my one little avenue to being social. Hopefully through the people I meet, being around people all day in an environment is gonna lead me down new paths of this chapter. I'm trying not to be super anxious about it because I was journaling the other morning and I realized that something I do as like a form of protection, I think, is to just expect the worst out of a unknown situation. So like going into this, I kind of noticed myself preparing for the worst and that's something that I'm really not trying to do anymore so i noticed it and i was like oh so you know why are you doing that because it's almost like i don't want to be let down like if i go into something expecting it to be good there's more of a fear that i'm gonna be misled or like let down that way if it goes well then we're pleasantly surprised but if it goes bad then we're like it's okay we're prepared but you really can't truly prepare at all it's still gonna suck whether you expected it to suck or not but at least if it doesn't suck then you didn't waste the time beforehand worrying about it you know so I'm trying to be a positive Polly, positive Penny, positive Penelope about everything new. I hope you are too. So yeah, 22, still pretty confused. I'm gonna make this into a series. If you want more talking, less talking, let me know. If you related to anything that I talked about, what are some other things that you'd like to hear me talk about? I have a few ideas of other videos I wanna make. I think it's gonna be fun. And we can be 22 and confused together. Okay, all right, love you, bye.